Hi, my name is Mika and I've heard a lot about clean coal, so I've come out to New Akron Coal Mine to learn more about it. I'm here with Dave O'Dwyer, the General Manager of New Akron Coal, and we're going to talk about the idea of clean coal. What is clean coal? Clean coal is the concept of using the highest energy coal that you can with the best technology power stations to produce the most energy uh, for the least amount of input. Queensland is lucky, we have really great coal reserves, really high energy, high quality coal reserves. So we can put those into high efficiency power plants and make high quality energy uh, with the least amount of output. So where does the bulk of your coal go? The majority of our coal goes overseas because they're the customers that are looking for that coal. So they've got high energy, low emission power stations, sometimes called hella power stations, and they want high energy coal. So they put less tonnes into their power station and get more power out. Here in Queensland, we've got older power stations. We do use lower quality coal as well. There are some people in Queensland asking for a push to green energy, which would mean closing coal mines. What effect would that have on emissions? Changing Queensland to green energy uh, isn't going to have a great effect globally on net emissions. Uh, what we're seeing is that developing countries are putting in more coal-fired power. Uh, and ultimately, if we close our high energy coal uh, down and, and don't export to those, to those markets anymore, they'll go to other markets and find coal. Um, and there's not a lot of coal worldwide that, that would meet the same kind of energy that we can produce here in Queensland. So ultimately you would end up with more uh, emissions uh, going out into the atmosphere if you use lower energy coals. So I understand that you're still seeking approvals to continue the life of the mine. How much longer have you got and what's the impact if you don't get approvals? Um, we've got about 12 months left. Once we, we get to the end, there's no more coal for us to mine within the lease if we don't have our approvals in time. Ultimately, the market loses all the, the high energy coal that we produce. So the market will go elsewhere and find other coal to burn and they might start burning coal that's less, uh, less efficient than ours. So approval of NAC3 means another 15 to 20 years of our high energy coal on the market. I hope that helps clear up some misconceptions about clean coal. 